Hey guys, welcome to Code Club's Color Panda again. So a lot of people requested me to make the video on shape and ranges. So let's get started. So this is a similar problem with uh, the minimum number of platforms required uh, in a railway station. So I will put the link in the description. You can check it out in the video. So uh, let's observe this that how we are uh, calculating the minimum number of platforms needed in a railway station. So uh, this is very simple. Uh, this code is taken from Geeks for Geeks. Uh, so when you start a range, that means a train arrives, you increment the current count, and when a um, train leaves, that is you leave one range, you decrement the count. This is very simple. So at that point, you are measuring minimum the number of platforms needed to accommodate those trains. At that moment, so count is representing that only. So let's see how we can use this and solve this shaping and ranges problem. So in shaping and ranges, we have been told that uh, we are given n ranges like that, that arrival and um, leaving time of the trains, and we are um, required to make two non-empty sets. Such that there will be no overlapping in those sets. So we will be following simple steps. Whenever you are starting one range, check if there is any range you have already come through ended before. So when I came across this range starting from P, this range, I saw that I have already finished one range at this point and that is before p so you can make two non empty subsets by removing the ranges which has this point p in their range so except this range starting from p so you have to remove these two ranges and you will be able to make that subsets So, if the count is n at any moment, then we cannot form two non empty sets having no overlapping, so the answer will be minus 1. So, uh, we cannot separate those ranges in two sets uh, without any overlap, so the answer will be minus 1 for that case. And if the count is 0 at any moment, then we have already two non empty sets because there is a gap in the ranges. So we already have two non empty sets which have no overlapping, so the answer will be zero. So, this is very easy, you can try that. So, we are also making a new video series where we will be sharing various company details and experiences so that our community can get to know about the opportunities in the industry. So, please check out that. I will be putting the video link in the description. Uh, and you guys are my real motivation to make this video, so please. Uh, subscribe to my channel and please like and if you have any doubts you can comment thank you for watching and goodbye and keep coding